Hey guys, what is going on? Infinite Z PvP here, and today we bring another Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Assassin Hatred Spec PvP gameplay. Just leveling my assassin to get to 70 in 5.0. Thought I'd play a bit of Hatred Spec. Um, got two somewhat interesting war zones here 4v4 PvP matches, and one match, the first match shows a healer and tank combo, and I really wanted to show you guys that tanks are still viable. A lot of people are saying tanks are not viable anymore. Um, because DPS can just roll a guard. It is more viable, viable to still roll a tank and guard rather than put a guard on it as your DPS. If you're a DPS and you're guarding a healer or you're guarding another DPS or whatever, you're putting more um, you're putting more strain on your healer. So do not be DP do not be guarding white as a DPS. Only be guarding if you are using a shield rating or shield um, absorption. Okay guys, so do not be guarding as a DPS. So I just want to be showing you this war zone going up against a nice heal and take com tank combo and we couldn't get through it. They were they worked really well together and as a dot damage I found I have enough DPS to focus on that healer and burst that healer down. Uh, I find dot damage back pre 5.0 had enough DPS to take them down. I'm not finding it now, I'm finding it have to be a burst. Um, but it is still nice. You can still get some nice high numbers as a hatred spec. Don't let it. Don't shy away from it. You can still get some nice high numbers. But if you are really wanting to make a, a significant difference within your team, deception spec is definitely the way to go. Uh, just the second match, we did come out on top. They didn't have a healer. It was a four. We had four DPS. They had three DPS in the tank. And you know, we definitely worked a lot better. I still got max max out my DPS on the scoreboard. So it was a really, both matches were really good. We lost one, we won one, and uh, I think the reason that dot damages cannot do enough damage or finish off those targets well, um, the healers and tank and heal combos, is just because of 5.0 bringing in more defensive stats to the game across all characters. We saw in 4.5 um, in PvP, classes got that maneuverability buff. Now in 5.0, a lot of class changes seem to focus on defensive, and dots, unfortunately, they just don't, they lack that little bit of damage to really bust down some of those defenses. Um, I'm not saying, you know, stacking all your dots is not going to be doing anything. It still is, and you're still going to be supporting your team by having those dots on um, enemies, but really, burst is the way to go in PvP, and dots seem to still be the way to go in PvE. That is just from my... Uh, opinion. I want to know what you guys think about it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to smash the like button if you did and subscribe and share. It really helps me out. Any thoughts, drop them below in the comment section and I will get back to them as soon as I can and I'll see you all in another video.
blinded Like where'd you go? I said his life's up blinded Getting higher, I'm still climbing And I lost my mind and if somebody finds it Just let me know Still drunk in the club Stumbling sideways, munching my gums Still drunk with a buzz With the amphetamines under my tongue On everything under the sun Mouth numb, it's all wrapped in my gums With a little bit of this and a little bit of that I'm loving it, man Eyes roll back to the back of my head I think I'm in love now Let a couple hours go past I'm 